Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing my empties. And as you can see, we don't have a lot. So this should go quickly. So if you're interested in seeing what I used up uh, throughout the last month, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I am going to start off with hair care. I finished off my Garnier Ultimate Blends Repairing Hair Food Papaya and Coconut Conditioner as well as the shampoo. I do really enjoy them, but I think that my hair had gotten used to it. So, or maybe it's just me and I got bored of it. Uh, so I decided that I will be changing it up. Uh, and I actually ordered myself uh, some chlorine products. Uh, so I've already used the conditioner and I love it. It was uh, a pomegranate one, really, really good. And I also bought the mango butter shampoo. I haven't used that yet because I have some samples that I need to get through before I open that up. Uh, but yeah, I decided that I'm bored and I want to change my hair care uh, routine so yeah uh, in the future I would uh, repurchase them because they are uh, very good quality uh, regardless of the price they're just a really good shampoo and conditioner um, in general so yeah <laughs> and I also used up this uh, Hask Argan Oil uh, Repairing Deep, Deep Conditioner this is uh, what it looks like I love Hask and I love their uh, products, but I this was nice on the hair. It made my hair feel soft and, it, you know, it felt like it kind of did something. But I wasn't a fan of the smell and, honestly, uh, the scent in hair care is one of the most <laughs> kind of important side things, in my opinion, because obviously you want, you know, no silicones. Obviously, you want uh, something that actually repairs it, not only, you know, kind of, it does look nice on the surface um, but for me smell is also important and this unfortunately didn't smell as nice as I would like so uh, yeah I'm okay you know I'm just okay feeling okay towards it that's it let's talk about the sheet masks that I had used uh, okay so the first one is the Vita masks uh, super green detox facial so uh, yeah this was a part of like a three-step kind of routine it had a moisturizer and a scrub I used the moisturizer it's actually in my uh, uh, bin here but I haven't used the scrub uh, yeah this was fine you know uh, unless a sheet mask does something ridiculously um, you know outstanding I just what is going on with my hair I didn't do my fringe today and it just looks awful what can I do uh, anyway in in unless a sheet mask does something super outstanding and spectacular I, I just they're just all just okay you know they're they're a nice kind of addition you know to kind of break the day apart and you know do some self-care but it's not like uh, most of them do a lot <laughs> uh, this is the incredible uh, power flower hydrating sheet mask for what I remember from this one is that it was quite small on my face um, surprising then also I had this Coco star slice mask um, sheet watermelon watermelon so these were like individual watermelon size not size but um, watermelon design kind of sheet mask circles it looked funny it was okay it wasn't too bad and I also used up this um, timeless truth mask uh, high Radiant Brightening Black char Charcoal uh, Mask. I really do enjoy them. I Whenever I use them, I do actually see a difference. And this was definitely brightening on uh, on my skin. I liked the glow that it left uh, after I used it. Then for other random kind of skincare uh, things, I used up two moisturizers. So I used up the Vita Mask step three so this was a seaweed uh, moisturizer very thick kind of felt like a very moisturizing mask uh, it was nice I also used up this nail bay detox um, oxygen light cream that was in my skincare project pan that's all used up this was a uh, very nice very lightweight uh, I think it was perfect for the summer because it wasn't too too thick that you know kind of felt heavy on the skin not at all nothing like that it was actually quite nice 
Uh, I also used up this Glam Glow uh, Super Mode Clearing Treatment. This is also in my project pan. Um, yeah, this was fine. I don't necessarily see the hype with all of these um, uh, Super, uh, no, Glam Glow products. They're all just okay. And I also used up these uh, First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. So these were to help exfoliate, tone and, tone and brighten didn't necessarily see them doing much at all so it's not something that I would uh, repurchase then in terms of body care I only have two products so I have the rituals the ritual of jink soothing uh, body cream I love these rituals uh, body creams although like I'm <sighs> hmm. I don't think I would ever purchase a full-size one because they're like 20 something euro and you know I'm not about that life but for my like I can spend up to like a tenner so I would you know I usually buy the soap and glory ones at uh, the body butters because they're that cheap but if I ever get these in a, a subscription box or as a gift or something like that I would definitely use them up because they're they're so good they're very thick they're fragrant uh, they actually work they make your skin feel super soft and hydrated they're really good but I just can't although I love them I can't justify the price you know and then I also used up this Nivea black and white invisible um, anti-perspirant uh, this was actually really really good I really enjoyed it um, I would consider repurchasing um, I usually buy my deodorants uh, whatever is available on offer right now I'm using a Sanix one but if this ever comes back um, or if this ever goes on offer again I would definitely repurchase because it was it worked very well at you know making me not sweat basically in terms of the miscellaneous stuff i uh it's time to throw uh this sponge away this one is from brushworks i think um it's it's okay it's not as nice as um the eco tools one or it's not as nice as the real techniques one but it was just fine and finally i have three makeup products this time around i used of this kinder uh, lip balm it's all finished this wasn't my favorite and it's broken as well this wasn't my favorite thing fuck's sake because it is one of those products that change color once you you know apply them on the skin and yeah the color was not pretty whatsoever. I also used up this Catrice Iconista um, Lash Millionizer Waterproof Mascara. This is my favorite mascara ever. Now this unfortunately kind of is starting to dry out. I've already revived it once with my contact lens solution. But yeah, I think it's, it's done. Now unfortunately I've seen that Catrice have discontinued this particular waterproof version. They have a hemp one now. And what is up with that it was my favorite favorite um mascara and now it's gone so yeah i'm gonna have to find another one i guess and please don't say the essence lash princess because we just don't agree and the last product that i used up is a concealer this is the maybelline fit me concealer i had actually taken out uh, the stopper and i've scooped out as much as i could there's okay let me show you there's just a teeny teeny tiny bit left on the wand but that was not going to be enough for anything so i've swooped i've moved my wand around and everything and i just don't get enough for both of my eyes so um yeah that's done this is going into my makeup my year-long makeup empties and i'm super excited about that but that is it for today's video uh quite quick uh, i'm hoping i haven't used as many things uh last month because i haven't been i i took a break like a week or a week and a half long break and i wasn't wearing makeup uh as much uh so yeah that probably contributed to that but it's okay um sometimes we all need those kind of um uh, times where we just take a small little break uh but anyway um yeah that's just all i used to <laughs> but that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh but yeah thank you very much and i will see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.